Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Nick at Ninjadary Comics. Um, it's New Comic Book Day, August uh, 28th. This is going to be our haul, guys. This is everything that we were able to pick up today. Um, we got a pretty big haul today, guys. We got a lot of books, so I'm just going to dive right in and show you guys everything we are able to pick up. First thing I actually want to talk about, I'm probably, let's just talk about the best one that we found all day. This is going to be the Marvel 1000. Uh, this is limit one per store variant. And this is the one with the Mickey Mouse on the cover for the 80th anniversary. Dude, this thing is sick. So glad we were able to pick that one up, dude. That thing was super sick. All right, so let's get in the rest of them. So the rest of them, this is going to be all the Marvel books that we picked up. Uh, the first one, this is the Marvel 1000 also. This is the, the one with Captain America on the cover. This one's pretty sick too because it's all aged and just looks really old and worn. Um, they had so many covers for the for the Marvel 1000 guys. I thought all of them were pretty sick but these were like $10 books. This one was way more. <laughs> so couldn't pick them all up but um, I picked up a few. So this one is the one it has like all the characters on it. Um, it's kind of like trying to find Where's Waldo, right? I thought that cover was sick. We got the J. Scott Campbell. That one was sick. Uh, what else did we get? We got the one with Venom and Spider-Man. I think this is Inhuk Lee. Shout out, that one was sick. The one we really wanted was the one with She-Hulk on the front. I can't remember uh, who did the cover art on that, but uh, shout out Bill, Economics and Comics. I know he was talking about how that was his favorite one as well. Um, and as soon as I saw it on his channel, um, I went to Midtown to try to order it and it was sold out. So, And they didn't have any of them in my store. So no luck on the She-Hulk, but we got some cool ones. So moving on, this is House of X. Um, this is also a variant. This is the number, I don't know, it says it's a 1 in 10 ratio. We paid up for this one a little bit. Um, I thought it was a pretty sick um, variant though, so I liked it. Got that one. This is the one that I was really looking for right here. Uh, this is my favorite. This is the character decade variant. So this one again, um, I didn't separate everything this time, guys, from like the different stores. Everything kind of got mixed in. I went through and had to bag and board a bunch of the stuff, so... Uh, we got the Miles Morales Absolute Carnage issue number one. This one is the variant with Black Cat on the front. Uh, we were able to pick up that one. That one's pretty sick, dude. Sick. Um, we picked up a bunch of these uh, Spider-Man Life Story issue number six. I think I got four or five somewhere in the stack. Um, I have a couple full sets of the whole run of one through six. So, picked up the last issue on that. Excited to start reading that one. Um, here we have the regular Miles Morales, Absolute Carnage, number one. This one is a key book, guys. This was on our, our Keys of the Week video. Um, if you guys don't know by now, um, it was, for sure was key. I don't want to spoil anything in case you guys haven't read it, but it's definitely a key. I think I picked up a couple of those. Uh, Spider-Man Velocity, issue number one. This is the one of the variants. Pick that one up. Oh, this is one of the, the Miles Morales uh, variants. If you guys aren't sure what happens in issue number one, um, this cover is kind of a spoiler, so. Picked it up though, sick. Sick. Let me see. All right, guys, so this is uh, Venom issue 17. This is one of the variant issues. We were able to pick that one up. This cover is pretty sick. I liked it. I also was able to pick up the regular cover. I think I got a couple of the regular covers. Um, there goes the uh, 
sleeper symbiote that we were talking about in our keys of the week video that um, Jim Comics had pointed out. That's that guy down there. Um, what else we got here? Here goes a couple more of those Spider-Man life stories. Picked up a couple more of those guys. Um, here we go. Uh, we got Doctor Strange issue 18. Uh, we're able to pick that one up. I heard there was something key in this one. I missed this on our Keys of the Week video. I didn't find out until I think this morning before I went to the shops. But there's supposed to be something key in here. And this is a, this is a variant cover. So, sick. I think we got the regular cover too. Here goes another Miles Morales um, variant edition. This is one of the other variants that we were able to pick up. I think this one was cover three. It's pretty sick. Um, Absolute Carnage, guys. This is one of the other covers that we picked up. This one's pretty sick. Loving the artwork on all these books, man. Fire. Um, here we go. We got Lethal Protectors, Absolute Carnage number one. Um, Big Boy Gandalf. If you're watching this brother I know uh, shout out big boy Gandalf he was saying he saw this book on our keys of the week video didn't realize it was coming out with the iron fist um, and he called he said he was gonna try to call his LCS yesterday and get this added to his poll so so uh, brother let me know if you were able to pick it up man if you weren't able to pick this up we might be able to work something out man I might be able to I, I saw this on the shelf and I thought of you when I picked it up I got a couple of the the variants as well uh, of the Lethal Protectors number one, also with Iron Fist on the front cover. Sick. But uh, yeah, big boy, what is it? Yeah, big boy Gandalf, man. Let me know. Were you able to pick one up at your LCS? Let me know, brother. Um, also, super shocked to find this one actually in my pool box so if you notice the other character decade variant that we got um i think the price tag was still on it we paid up for that one at one lcs this one was actually in my pool box so that's why i love man it's like a love-hate relationship with these guys sometimes right but this is pretty sick so i paid cover for this one it was in my pool box i thought that was super sick um, and then also, this one had finally came in. I don't know if you noticed in our last video, we we're kind of talking about a lot of the Powers and House um, series. We added it to our poll like two months ago. We haven't had any of them coming in yet. And a lot of the ones we were picking up were just from different shops that we were getting lucky and finding them on the shelf. But some of the ones that I actually had put on my poll are starting to come in now. Because I know there are some people complaining, saying a lot of the comic book shops are just saying, um, you know, they're back ordered, like their order didn't come in or their books are getting damaged and they're just taking these books and selling them on eBay themselves. But it doesn't seem to be the case here because I'm starting to get some of my books that I did order. They're actually coming in. So that's pretty sick. And to have this one in my pool box from my LCS, this one was from Silver Wolf. Um, shout out those guys again, man. They come through time and time again. Shout out Silver Wolf, awesome. So I picked those ones up. I also got the cover A, uh, cover A, sick, House of X, issue number three, picked up two of those. I know the Virgin cover of this one was already going for like 50 on eBay. Uh, Monsters, issue number one, this is from Marvel as well. This came out today, guys, this looked interesting, so snag that one up. Uh, we got Venom, this is issue number 17 as well. This is that 80th anniversary. Uh, cover this is sick dude this is the one guys with all the characters around the frame uh, these variants are pretty sick I like these ones I saw a Thor one and a couple different ones but this was the only one that I actually picked up or at least that I remember <laughs> my Marvel stack is crazy so absolute carnage this was the regular cover um, honestly guys like this just the regular cover this one I think was my favorite almost out of, I don't know if I saw all the covers the ones that I remember seeing this one actually is my favorite this one is sick dude just like the colors and everything on this thing when you actually see it in person I'm trying to move it around and not get that light in there but sick dude 
So we got two of those. We also got this variant uh, for the Absolute Carnage. Pretty sure that's Absolute Carnage. Get so many. Yeah, this is the, the Young Guns variant. So, sick. I actually got another uh, Lethal Protectors. That's the cover A. Um, another, there's another Absolute Carnage in the bottom of the stack too. I didn't know that one was in there. So that's another Miles Morales, Absolute Carnage. This one, um, super sick again, Silver Wolf. Man, I don't think I shout out them enough or maybe too much. <laughs> but uh, this one, uh, I was looking to pick this one up. Um, I haven't seen the issues before because the guys, you know, again, guys, I'm still getting back into this. But I thought this was cool. It's like supposed to be the 3D um, issue. And they didn't have, they were sold out of this at all the local shops here in town. And the owner at Silver Wolf had one set aside in the back for himself. And he was nice enough to give that to us. So, and at cover. So, I thought that was pretty sick. Sick book, sick shop. Sick, sick, bro. There's another uh, Doctor Strange as well. This was the regular cover, um, issue 18. And then, I think this is going to be last for Marvel. I think that was all the Marvel book, guys. So this one, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man, issue 28. I've been picking up, I think I got 25, 26, 27. So I'm just going to keep picking these up and see. I know a lot of people aren't re like really on this story right now, but... Um, you know, I'm still digging it. I'm going to I'm going to keep following it and see what happens. So, pick that one up too. All right, guys. Now we're going to get into DC. So, the DC books we picked up, we got Batman Superman issue number 1. This is the variant cover. I think this is the third cover. It's pretty sick. We also were able to pick up uh, cover one and cover two which one and two if you actually put them together it has the face can I do it on the stand gotta kind of hold them because this oh no the stand got it what's up man uh, that's pretty sick guys super sick so um, I read somewhere it's something about um, Shazam who laughs or something like that or like the Shazam universe, something with Shazam and the Batman who laughs, Shazam who laughs, says the hunt begins for the infected. Let me know uh, down in the comment below, guys, if you know what's going on with this. Um, I did just order the trade paperback of the Batman who laughs series because I kind of, once I started collecting again, that series was almost over, but everyone says it's super good. So I ordered the, the trade paperback today and we should have that coming in. By next week, hopefully, we're going to read that up. See what's going on with Batman Who Laughs. Um, this is the Batgirl 38. This is that uh, Middleston variant. Fire. God, this thing is just sick. I mean, come on, man. Dang. Um, picked up that facsimile edition. This is the first appearance of the Swamp Thing. Uh, reprint, you know, from back in the day. I'm not sure exactly when this came out, but... Um, it says 71 right there on the the front so maybe that's when it came out but uh, super cool they're starting to do those facsimiles for DC now so I've been picking those up um, action comics this is 1014 they're supposed to be the first uh, like cameo appearance of Naomi that crosses over into this uh, I haven't opened it and take a look on the back yet or anything but this is the variant for that one so pick that up and I think a lot of guys are starting to get on this is issue uh, 1014 um, I heard a lot of people say, you know, 1015, that's the one to get because she's going to make her first full appearance. Um, I also picked this one up. Um, I love Batgirl. We're like way behind because just getting into it. So every time I see a back issue here or there, I'll go ahead and pick it up too. But I thought this cover was sick. So pick that one up. And then we're going to have our Batman Curse of the White Knights. Um... We got cover. We got a couple covers of those ones too. I was supposed to have some more of the bees, but we also were able to pick up uh, one of the bee covers. So I'm excited to read this one too. I'm actually really excited to read this one. It's pretty sick. What is this, Azriel? 
Sick, dude. Sick. All right, so that's going to do it for DC, guys. Our DC stack is pretty thin, and there's doubles in there. A lot of those are the same issue. So that was DC. And then last up, what are we going to do? Let's do, um, let me grab these guys. Let's do IDW, and then we'll do what we have left on the indies. So we picked up that Shredder in Hell. This is a variant cover, issue number four. Love the Teenage Mutant Turtles, man. Love the turtles. Um, we got that issue 95, uh, second print. Also, we are able to pick up issue 96. I believe this is second print as well. We do have a, we do have a 96. Where's that at? Oh, it's right here. I also got this one a while. I don't know if I ever actually showed this on camera, but uh, I don't know if I showed this in any of the haul videos that we've done or anything like that yet, but we were able to get one of the 96, that retailer and Cinev cover. Sick. Got that a while ago. Um, so yeah, let me put this back up here real quick. So yeah, issue 96, pretty sure that second print. And then we got today's stuff, guys. We got issue 97. I think we ordered some 97s off of some, uh, one of the websites, I can't remember which one it was, but there were supposed to be some exclusive covers. I think I was able to get at least one or two. Um, but this cover's pretty sick. But this one, probably my favorite. Able to pick up that cover B. This one's sick just because it has Jenica on the front cover. Um, there was a couple other covers I found. I don't know if you guys noticed the thumbnail for our Keys of the Week video. There was a cover with Jenica on the front of it. I seen that one. That one's sick, dude. But I think that's something you can only order from like websites. It's not going to be in any of the stores. But I found these and I was actually surprised. A lot of people aren't picking up turtles in my town, but I was able to get quite a few. There's two, three, I think there's a fourth one somewhere. So stoked to get those and then also we got the retailer incentive uh, variant this one was super sick we paid up for this one this is like a one in ten I think variant um, but honestly I'm trying to pick up everything turtles love turtles I'm trying to get real heavy back into turtles one thing I'm disappointed about I couldn't find any GI Joe stuff anywhere I really want to get back into GI Joe um, and start you know getting back on that I know they were talking about there's like the hunt for snake eyes or something like that guys it's supposed to be coming out today I wasn't able to find it I didn't see any GI Joe stuff anywhere at any of my stores so that was kind of disappointing but I think I'm gonna go online and order some stuff or maybe see if my LCS can track some stuff down for me I think I'm gonna make another trip in there tomorrow and see what we can do um, this one, if you notice from the, the video I think I did last week, we had Weatherman number three in there, but this is the variant, this is the Stephanie Hans um, variant that I actually ordered. So this one was in my pull this week. I was super excited that that actually came in. So shout out Silver Wolf again. <laughs> uh, Paper Girls, issue 30. I already have a couple of these. Um, this one came in in my pull. Like I said, a lot of stuff was coming in random times but I'll take another one for sure because Paper Girls is going to get hot if it's not already super hot and then this this one guys I've never heard of this one before this is La Muerta issue number one Coffin Comics I remember just seeing something recently on uh, Comic Tom 101 where he did like an interview with Polito and I remember he's talking about Coffin Comics so um, I don't know. I'm guessing this is one of their books that just came out because it says, you know, Coffin Comics right on it. It even says Polito down there on the bottom. I'm not super up to date on all my knowledge and trivia and all that kinds of stuff. So forgive me. But I thought I saw that cover and I was like, dude, that cover's sick. Gotta buy it, right? And then, let's see, can I just put it on there? Let's see. Then I saw this cover. Oh, dude. That cover is super sick. Gotta have it. And then I saw this cover. F 
fire, dude. That black and white, that sketch. Sick. So we picked up all three of those. I mean, dang, dude. Fire, man. Fire, fire, fire. And that was actually, oh wait, no, we got one more, my bad. There's one down here on the bottom, it blends in because it was white. Uh, this is the love she offered. I had actually added this to my pool um, when issue one had came out and by the time I added it to the pool, issue one wasn't available anymore. And then honestly, I forgot about it and this was just in my box today. So I wasn't able to get issue one, so I didn't read it, but we got issue two. Um, so yeah, maybe I could uh, track on issue one down online or something and then read this little series. I think it's only a, a small series. I don't, I think it might only go to three. Don't quote me on that though. Source Point Press. There have some good stuff coming out. Yeah, and that was, uh, that was it guys. Uh, also, I don't know if you noticed, we got this uh, sick absolute carnage short box over here. Um, I've already seen a couple guys upload haul videos from today when they were able to pick up some of those too. So I'm guessing they shipped those out to a lot of the comic book shops throughout. Um, so yeah, let me know if any of you guys picked up one of those. I thought it was sick, so I picked it up and we're getting short on uh, space for our comics here. So <laughs> gotta find more room to put them in there. All right guys, so that was all of our pickups from this week, new comic book day. Um, August 28th it was a great day guys I mean it really was I had a blast sincerely had the best time at my comic shops this week um, it was just great man I'm starting to look forward to Wednesday every week now um, it's starting to be the best day of the week for sure um, it's super awesome man I just want to let you guys know we did pick our winner from our secret giveaway that we did last week and I wanted to hop on here and announce the winner. So without further ado, the winner of last week's secret giveaway is Flicking Stuff. Flicking Stuff, bro. I really appreciate you if you're watching this, which I'm sure you are because you're a loyal ninja, bro, of the Ninja Dairy family. I apologize if the video is super shaky. I did not think this through. Uh, we're low tech, low budget here, guys, right? But, um, Flicking stuff, man. Congratulations. I truly do appreciate you. Um, congratulations on the win. I feel like I've said congratulations 19 times now. Um, but that's awesome, man. I'm like excited for you, man. I mean, the book wasn't like a huge book or anything. It's from my personal collection, so I really enjoyed it. Um, it's uh, We did the poll, and uh, it was between Walking Dead 193 first print and Web of Venom Funeral Pyre. Pyre. The, um, the, what is it, the Clayton Crane variant, man, the one with the purple cover, it was sick, dude. So the Web of Venom, that's the one that won the poll. You guys voted for it, so Flicking Stuff is gonna get that sent out to him. I appreciate everybody that found the secret giveaway. Keep your eyes open, lurkers. There's more secrets out there. Um, Flicking Stuff, hit us up on Instagram, brother, uh, at Ninjadary Comics. Uh, give me your information and we'll get that book sent out to you ASAP, man. That's going to do it for us in this one, guys. Let me know what you thought about all the pickups. It was a great day. We had a lot of books. Super stoked to get back home and start reading, man. We'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. <laughs>